Hello, governmental accounting students. This is your teacher, Roy Kamita. And what you're looking at is my personal homepage. And the easiest way to get a hold of me is by my email address, kamita at hawaii.edu. And it gets pushed to my phone, so I try to read it right away and get back to you right away. My address for my personal homepage is sites.google.com slash a slash hawaii.edu. One more slash and then my last name, Kamita. So there's lots of information here, including information for our class. So if you scroll down, again, our class is Business Administration 414, Governmental Accounting. And eventually under that title, you'll have a link to replay this video that you're watching right now. And here's a link to our course syllabus, class schedule, and a supplementary publisher's website called Online Learning Center. Not the online book now, but supplementary information. If you've been a student in the University of Hawaii system for a while, you should already know about Laulima. So here is our Laulima site, and you can get here by typing in the address laulima.hawaii.edu, where you would type in your UH username and secret password, and when you enter, you'll get to your My Workspaces screen. So this whole screen here is for My Workspace. And each tab up here represents one class you currently are registered in, including our West Oahu BUSA 414. Group means there's more than one section. We have two sections here taking the class, taking this course, for the second summer session of 2013. So when, if you click on our tab, you'll get to our class homepage. Okay, again, BUSA 414 Governmental Accounting. My name is Roy. And here again is the email address for me, easiest way to get a hold of me. Right now you should be working on getting your textbook. And the only way to get it is online. Here's the instructions, a link to the instructions to purchase your book online, not through the bookstore, because we we're trying to save money. Here's the cost right here of your book, much cheaper than the previous uh, time this course was offered and the book will be available online. You can download it to your computer and then you can print out a hard copy if you want to. Again, saving you a lot of money here. Okay, so off to the left side are tools or folders, one of which is announcements. Every so often I'll be emailing you a class message and it will be posted here under this announcements column off on the right side. I'll have our class name, our course title, BUSA414, and the date I send you the email with the title class message. So this one was already sent out, and you can reread it again here on our homepage. But the main place to get the message initially is in your hawaii.edu email account. Okay, so make sure you check your email at least every day or every other day at most. And also log in to our Laulima site because there's other announcements that I don't email to you called FYI, like this one and this one here. And this list will hold the 10 latest or 12 latest messages and older messages again would be under this link over here, announcements. This link for discussions, I'll just leave it up to you for students who want to contact each other to talk about uh, anything for the course. I won't monitor it, at least that often. Again, the easiest way to get immediate feedback from me is by email. So you can either use your own email, or here we have a tool within Laulima um, where you can pick off the role. I'm the only instructor, so you can click that off, type in your subject, type in the contents of your message, and then here at the bottom, make sure you send yourself a copy and then click on the send mail button. Okay, that's And it'll go to my hawaii.edu email account. There's no way to read the email within Laulima, but it's through, to hawaii.edu email account. Here's that same publisher's online learning center. Let me go there right now just to see how it looks like. So here, matching up with our book, there's chapter so you can pick from, and each chapter there's a multiple choice quiz that you'll be working on. Excel-based problems, we won't be doing any of those. And here's a PowerPoint that you can download to summarize a chapter. Again, this is the online learning center for our textbook, not a substitute for the book. 
We also have other resources here. And in that resource link, there's chapter folders. One for each chapter we're going to be using during the semester. So inside of the chapter folder for folder uh, chapter one, I have links to that uh, multiple choice one you just saw at the online uh, learning center. The same PowerPoint that's linked here on the online learning center. Solutions to problems at the end of the chapter. This for chapter one. And I recall videos already done one for chapter one and then another one for a problem or exercise at the end of the chapter. Again, solutions are already inside of this file here, but I illustrate the thought process of how to get the answer in this video. This chapter lectures are kind of long, so hopefully it's no longer than uh, 30 minutes. But try viewing it first before you read the chapter. But again, there's no substitute for reading the chapter. And I'll have chapter videos like these available just a day or so before the chapter is assigned. So I'm going to be recording this throughout the, the summer. I haven't pre-recorded any of these. So here again, back in the uh, listing of chapter folders, we just came from this chapter one. So similar references, contents uh, uh, in these folders here. At the bottom of the list, I have some uh, sample financial statements for some local governments and our state government. You can use uh, as we go through the semester to compare what's in our textbook. Okay, this is the resources link here. Eventually, I'll post scores your, for all the assignments in this folder. So periodically check this to make sure I have the correct points posted. These are the official points to calculate your grade for the semester. Here's a link to the course syllabus and schedule. So let's go through the syllabus. You probably should save or print this out for future reference. Again, my name is Roy. I'm a full-time teacher at Leeward College. And again, uh, this is an online class, so we don't have any office hours. But if you do want to meet me, it's by appointment. Here again is my email address, the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, a link back to my personal home page, a link to Lao Lima that we just saw, and class schedule we'll see in a second. Course description, you should have already passed this prerequisite to be able to register for our class, Intermediate Accounting uh, 1. Again, the textbook here, the 11th edition for Copley. Again, it's the ebook version, so you got to go to the publisher site. So I link here again the instructions of how to buy your textbook. You can access it online on any internet uh, device, and you can download it to one computer. And then once you download it, you can print it to paper if you want to. It's saving us a lot of money. I believe uh, last summer the new textbook, just the printed version, cost over $200. Here's a link back to that online learning center, again for the multiple choice quizzes and the PowerPoints that you're going to be using. And here, of course, is what you really want to know, how you get that A grade for the semester. For each chapter, we have nine chapters for the whole semester. You're going to have a multiple choice quiz on that online learning center. Each quiz has uh, 10 questions, one point each. And then for each chapter, you're going to have a true-false test here in Lao Lima. Just 10 questions, one point each. And then you're going to have an exam, three exams, uh, 34 questions, three point each for 100 points, approximately 100 points. OK, so here are the total points. And a standard curve of 90% and above is an A, 80 through 89 is a B, and so forth. We don't want to see anybody down here. In the case of, and there's more description about the multiple choice um, online quizzes and true false tests and exams down here. In the case of the multiple, and I'll let you read this on your own, but in the case of the multiple choice quizzes, you can do it over and over again until you get it perfect. And then you send me, email me, a copy of your scored uh, quiz. In the case of the true false tests, you can do it only one time. I give you 30 minutes here in La Lima, and you do it only one time. No multiple chances like for the quizzes. For every three chapters, you're going to have an exam. The exam is going to be only taken one time. Okay, but it's worth more points, and I give you two hours to complete it. Most of it is uh, multiple choice questions. Both true-false tests and exams are here in La Lima. Here's what I want you to do for every chapter. 
watch the videos I post, read, nothing replaces reading the chapter, do that multiple choice quiz at the Publishers Online Learning Center, then take that true-false test for 10 points. Always ask me questions and I'll email you back as soon as I can. I'll try to post up your questions and my response as an announcement and keeping you anonymous. So every three chapters, then we're going to take an exam here in Lao Lima. This true-false test and the exams, you only have one chance to take it. So be prepared before you go in, even though it's open book. Okay, so this is the course syllabus. So let's go back to Lao Lima. We just came from this link here. So let's take a look at the class schedule. So here's our schedule laid out by chapter. So chapter one, it's going to be covering these three days. At the end of July 11th, by 11.55 p.m., you should have submitted your multiple choice quiz, again, at the Online Learning Center, email to me, and the true-false test here in Lao Lima, both worth 10 points. Then the next three days, we we'll go through the weekend, you can see here. So if you cannot keep up with the schedule, you have to work ahead of the schedule. Okay, multiple choice quiz and true false test. Same thing for chapter three. Then we're ready for our first exam covering those three chapters in Lao Lima. And it kind of overlaps the last day of this um, last chapter and the first day of the next chapter another three chapters and then another exam and another three chapters and then our last exam so if you save this spreadsheet um, this web page to your computer and open it up in a spreadsheet you can probably enter your points and put a formula at the bottom to calculate your total and again it's a standard curve for your letter grade for the semester okay so that's this schedule link here in um, in Lao Lima um, here's a link and I give you, it's in the instructions of uh, getting to your textbook. You're buying it at this bookstore and once you have it uh, bought in the bookstore, it should be here on your bookshelf and you're going to have to log in with your information. may not be the easiest way to view it here inside of Lao Lima, so probably downloading it to your computer and printing out selected pages that you want to read on paper would be the easy way to uh, go through the book. Okay, so that's Lao Lima. I think uh, that's all I'll show you for now. If you have any questions, email me at kamita at hawaii.edu.